prince was successfully able to complete the chapter principles of inheritance and variation now there are only two concepts which is pending and if you finish this so successfully yes we are done with this chapter so first we will move on to sex determination so sex determination is nothing but determining the sex of an individual and how far the chromosomes play a very important role in that specific sex determination in a specific individual so that is called as sex determination so for example you have heterogametic males and heterogametic females now when you say something the word when you utter the word homogametic homo means similar for examples, females are, have homogametic sexes, right? They have two X chromosomes, similar X chromosome. But when you talk about this heterogametic, they have different chromosome. In a pair, the, the, the differences varies. For example, in male, they have one X chromosome and one Y chromosome. And this is called as heterogamity. And this is called as homogamity, all right? So first is heterogametic male. So this a very uh, concise example is we humans where in case of males they are heterogamete and uh, females are normal homogamete because males have XY chromosome and females have double X chromosomes. And in this uh, thing there is specific note you can add on bar body. So what is a bar body? It is present only in the female and it is a condensed chromosome. Okay. A female having two X chromosome will have a single bar body. Right. So there is a reduction of one chromosome and that it is stored in nervous tissue. For example, you have the inner epithelial cheek cells, right? So when you scrape it and look at, at the microscope, there will be a thick spherical body in the cell and that is called as bar body. You can stain it in the microscope and view it, okay? So now this bar body is a significance to know the amount of X chromosome an individual has. So to make it even more clear, while studying about this clean filters and Turner syndrome, we'll again come to the concept concept of bar body right so that is what so this is a male a female who has double x chromosome and a male who has xy chromosome so during crossing over there's a 50 percent chances of being a male and 50 percent chances of being born as a girl baby so it is all depend on a male chromosome because male have x and y they produce two different types of sperms one is x type of sperm and the other is y type of sperm if it is x type of sperm who go and fuse with the x chromosome they eventually end up getting a girl baby if this y type of sperm go and fuse with the x chromosome x and y so they end up getting a boy baby so that is heterogametic males next we'll talk about this heterogametic females and this happens in case of birds and reptiles where this heterogametic factor it has been bestowed on females okay males are homogamete and female produces two different types of eggs so you have zo and zz type so which means that zo females will pro produce two different types of eggs one is z type and the other is o type but males have a similar pair of chromosomes zz right so when when this z will go and fuse with the first type of egg it is a female for example we have uh, a bird female bird okay and the other z go and fuse with the o z o it is a male bird so that is the concept so yes so i mean z z is what male and z o is what female so then a very superb example is in case of honeybees so we have studied about these parthenocarpic animals right so but in case of honeybees we already would have come across the term called as haploidy and diploidy so haploid you denote by the symbol n and diploid you denote it by the symbol 2n which means that haploid have to only single set of chromosome and diploid will have the dual set of chromosome 
right now in case of honey bees now there is a male bee and there is a female bee now male bee will possess n chromosome and female bee will possess n chromosome and these two combine together and the zygote will have two n chromosome when this particular function happens what happens there is a b a little tiny b which has been generated right so they give birth to b smaller b skid b now these b when they are fed with royal jelly they become the male that is the queen which is which grow it will go grow mature and later on they will mate with the other male okay if this is not been fed with a royal Uh, jellies other will become the worker bees you have the cleaning bees who keep cleaning the hexagonal nets and you have the sucker bees which will go and collect the honey and there are like safeguarding bees soldier bees you have all the different types of bees right so rearing of bees is called as apiculture but what happens in case of male bees when there is no fertilization takes place and only one n chromosome of the female and she lays the eggs this will go to a drone bees right they all become the drone bees so that is a concept of uh, haplo diploidy right haplo is only n and diploid is 2n right and then we'll talk about pedigree analysis so uh, in case of cytogenetic departments they take a blood test and this is how the report would be this is how they note okay for example when there's a genetic disorder they take a case study right when a child ends up being uh, a disorder child it has a chromosomal disorder and now they take a case study of the parents so as the parents say they'll not have the case in a written format rather in this diagrammatic format okay so for example they are going and interviewing a parents okay tell me about your family's background okay so they are telling uh, a male and a female okay so male is always indicated by a box and a female a circle okay when i put a line in between them which means that mating they are married okay now after marriage and again i draw a line and these three things indicate the offspring their babies so they are telling we are we were married in the year 1995 and then the first we had a boy and then a girl and again a girl right and now what happens this girl is again getting married to a boy but this type of marriage is a consanguineous marriage which means that they are getting married in their relations itself okay uncle son uncle's daughter aunt son aunt's daughter and all that so now when i indicate this by a two sign which means that they are marrying within the family now what happened when i draw a around and color it inside which means that they are all the affected individuals they have this chromosomal abnormality and this is a normal male and now what is this this is called a sex undetermined which means that now this lady is pregnant again okay now we don't know whether it's a male or a female but when you take a chromosomal test okay amniotic fluid test what happens it it says that the child has a chromosomal abnormalities so that is sex undetermined or supposing they are planning for a third baby if they are not pregnant they are planning for the third baby and this we nearly don't know what exactly happens right so in that case you can put this side, uh, type of figure okay so that is called as pedigree analysis so analysis of the karyotypes the different chromosomes and you take a case study and that is called as pedigree analysis and next the last concept of the chapter is genetic disorder so genetic disorder is nothing but a disorder in the structure of gene the gene could be altered and that concept is called as mutation or there is an addition of gene or a deletion of gene there is a structural variability of the gene but this genetic disorder can be again divided into two types one is mendelian disorder and the other is chromosomal disorder mendelian disorder is where when a gene has been altered for example a will will always pair with t right suppose a is pairing with c 
Now there is an alteration in few of the base pairs and that is called as Mendelian disorder. When you talk about chromosomal disorder, so you have there is an extra chromosome that is addition of chromosome or deletion of chromosome that is called as chromosomal disorder. In Mendelian disorder, three important disor disorders we will study. First is color blindness and now all uh, the first two color blindness and the hemophilia are always affecting the males here all y linked inheritance which means that there is a genetic default in the x chromosomes right but this will not affect the females because in females when it is affected female just become the carriers because female have a pair of x chromosomes but in case of male they eventually end up being a affected individual why because males have only one x chromosome so here it has been expressed in terms of heterozygous carrier here they are infected people, right? So this is what color blindness. So retina which has rods and cones will have this color blindness. They have the difficulty to sense is red and green color and everything appears to be gray, right? Next is hemophilia. So hemophilia we call it as a royal disease because first it was found in a queen where she got hurt and she was bleeding in her knees and suddenly the blood didn't stop. It didn't clear. Clot. So because a blood after an injury it eventually has to clot and the um uh, and a component called as prothrombin which is much necessary for it right so now when the prothrombin is not been secreted what happens the blood will not clot it will keep on flowing and what will happen the the individual will die so that is called as hemophilia even here it affects the male males are infected and females become the carrier for the next generation. Next is sickle cell anemia. So which means that a normal RBC is spherical in shape, right? But sickle cell will be what? Sickle shape, half moon shape. Okay, so in this case, this RBC cannot carry, hemoglobin cannot carry much of the oxygen. Okay, so these individuals will, will not have the potentiality of uh, a normal breathing rate. Okay, here there are genes if the hemoglobin, right? So these are the pair of G. If it is HBA, it is a normal RBC. But in case of S, when it is homozygous dominant, they end up being infected with sickle cell and here that is HB hemoglobin S and S. Next we will talk about chromosomal disorder. So chromosomal disorder is where genetic disorder is based on the gene and this chromosomal is based on the chromosome when, when there is an addition of chromosome or deletion of chromosome. So usually in humans we should have 23 pairs of chromosome. So what happens when there is only 22 pairs or what happens when it becomes 24 to 25 pairs. So that is all we are going to study. Now first is in a chromosomal disorder we use the term aneuploidy. Aneuploidy is where when there is an increase in the amount of chromosome or decrease in the amount of chromosome, it is denoted by the word aneuploidy. Okay. Next is polyploidy, which means that there is increase in the number of chromosomes. We call it as polyploidy. So in polyploidy, you have different somies that we'll deal it with deal it later in the uh, proceeding chapters. So first we will talk with Down syndrome. So in case of Down syndrome, it is called as 21 trisomy. Why do we call it as 21 trisomy? We have 23 pairs of chromosome, right? In that 21st pair has to be a just a pair of chromosome, right? One from paternal, one from maternal. That is one from the father and the other from the mother. Now in case of Down syndrome, there is an extra chromosome instead of two chromosome there is three chromosome and these individuals will not will end up having a maroon like a sort of flat face 
moon sort of phase okay they have the other chromosomal anomalies okay it depends on the intensity you can train few of them to study and few of them can never be trained okay they'll become mentally sick so they're all different different anomalies so only if it is down syndrome there's no problem along with down syndrome and there's few other minor anomalies it is very difficult to treat okay so next is clean filters and turners so clean filters will have double x y chromosome usually a male will have a x and a y chromosome but clean filters male will have double x chromosome and a y chromosome so these type of males will have a bar body because it's two x chromosome so one x chromosome it has always been condensed in a form of heterochromatin and that is where males do not have bar bodies but clean filters males alone will have bar bodies right so that is clean filters and these individual uh like they have more of female character a very feeble voice they have a lot of hair which is grown throughout their body and their pubic areas and they don't the, the hip becomes little broadened and the shoulders will become little shortened okay so a little of female characteristics is all been in the clean filtered males but in case of turner females usually a female should have double x chromosome but turner females will have one x chromosome that's all okay now these type of females will not have bar body because already there's only one x chromosome so these female will have a male voice okay masculine voice and the menstrual cycle will never happen for this females though it happens there is no regularity in it okay so regularity meaning there is just like one period flow for a whole year so it all depends on the intensity so these female they do not have these broadened uh, hips and all okay normal secondary sexual character is not been developed and the hormonal development also it is very pretty low very low okay so we are done with the chapter so next we will start with the sixth chapter so stay tuned